Okay guys, today we're working on an EasyGo um, golf cart. It's a battery powered one and the guy uh, said that um, <clears throat> the motor spins but the cart doesn't go anywhere. So if you take a look, this is uh, the rear. I'm going to turn it on and see what happens, okay? Interesting, huh? So I think the hub is uh, hub on the is bad so that's what we're gonna try to replace today alright so let's get started alright so first thing let's get the wheel off and uh, I'm using a what is it a 19 mil and it seems to there we go. so just get those off and the last one there we go and then the wheel just comes off, and then you got the, the hub exposed, okay? And then what you want to do is straighten out the cotter pin as best you can, okay? And then get that up and out. And then to get that cue, I'm using a 15-16, uh, and that comes out pretty easily. And that was actually kind of loose, man, but that's okay. Take the washer off, and then there it is. The hub comes off. We'll clean it off out of there. And if you look on the inside, I don't know if you can see, but there, there are nothing there. Okay, there's not hardly any. Um, like this side, it's almost perfectly uh, flat. So don't breathe that stuff in. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Okay. Looks like there's a washer here. We're going to clean that up. We're going to clean the splines up with a little bit of brake clean. Okay. Okay. We'll just probably clean that off too. I don't want to blow any of it because... And... What he did was he ordered uh, a kit from Amazon. Got these new hubs. Okay. And I'm going to measure it up. And it seems to be about you know the right size because supposedly everything from 96 up um, it's the exact same so I'm gonna just slip it on and see if the hub goes in oops what am I doing my bad mm -hmm. yep it looks like it's gonna go in I'm gonna have to take the brakes in a little bit because they're already they're already a little bit out uh, and that there's no wear on this one I guess so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually uh, turn this wheel and see if we can take the pads in just a little bit okay that's what we're gonna have to do is take the pads in just a little bit on the bottom I don't know if you can see it but on the bottom there is a um, star wheel adjuster uh, for it and so that's what we're gonna try to do because it fits the splines well okay but you can tell that you know there's gonna be a little drag you know, and I don't, I don't want there to be a lot of drag, but that seems okay, maybe even. But look, you can see there's a little chase line there, okay? So, uh, but it comes with hardware. So, we're going to put this on the inside. Okay, and I'm going to put this on. Line it up, okay? Okay, so it does... Let's see if I can get it on without too much. Nope. Yeah, we definitely need to to take the brakes in just a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. So I just lifted up this this pad a little bit because on the star wheel, and we just gave it a couple turns in. Okay. And then we're gonna try the the, the hub again. I'm just gonna find the right. Mm -hmm. Still, still a little tight. So we're gonna we're gonna try to spin it in just a little bit more. Maybe we'll go a full rotation on it. But And then we'll get it on. 
get the brakes centered up where they need to go. Let's see what we got. Yeah, now we got a little bit more play, so we just got to get the hub on. There we go. See, there we go. Just a little grab, and it comes with a new washer. And then we'll put the old castle nut on. I'm going to clean that up probably just a little bit, and then we'll tighten it down just a little bit, and I'll put a new um, cotter pin in there. I don't want to over over tighten it, so we're just going to Mm -hmm. And we'll check to make sure that the lug nuts fit. There we go. So yeah, we know we're gonna be good there. And then we're gonna test it out to see if it's fit. So I'm gonna put the key on and Alright, that looks like uh that looks like the that looks like it. Okay. So we're gonna tighten this up. And it really wasn't that tight, surprisingly. So I just need to find the location of the cotter pin. Oh, that looks tight right there. There it is right there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit past that because it was actually not that tight. And we're gonna get a new cotter pin. And we should be good. So I got a new cotter pin. We'll stick it in there like so. Okay, and then we'll just put a bend on it, you know, so it doesn't move. That's the first one, and the other one like that. Okay, and then the wheels should go on and everything will just spin with that, okay? So, that's pretty good, okay. Alright, that's it. Thank you for subscribing, and uh... Have a great week. Thank you.